Okay, today at the shop we have a skid steer. This is a New Holland LS190. And we're having a problem with the seatbelt. And I'm going to show you how to replace the seatbelt. And or if you're on the job site and your seatbelt's acting up and you do not have access to your controls. They're all locked up because the seatbelt's not working. I'll show you a little tip which is not, rec not recommended because it's not safe. But if you need to use it to get the job done, this will help you get through it. Our machine right here. Now, looking in here at the seatbelt, the problem we had with this was, let's get some light on in here. All right, yeah. so we have our seatbelt over here, which when the operator is sitting down and this is clicked in, that will activate your controls and allow you to move and use the bucket and so forth. But sometimes these go bad and you might find yourself jiggling it to get the controls to work or whatever, or maybe it just stopped all together. Well, it is a pretty simple fix. In this case over here, what they did was, there was a plastic cover on here. Uh, they pulled it off. And so you can see inside of there, there's gonna be a little micro switch like this. That is what your seatbelt pushes down on to activate your controls. So what you'll have to do is remove this plastic cover on here, pull this little switch out, and you'll have to put a zip tie or some electrical tape around here and keep that compressed so that you're able to get the job done. Now, if you're the only operator, that's great. If you're gonna be changing operators, that's definitely a safety issue and you wanna make sure everybody knows that this thing is taped down and get it fixed ASAP. All right, but moving forward, replacing this, it's fairly simple. On the bottom of this, let's see if I can get down in there. You will see on the bottom of that, there's gonna be a bolt right there See that nut in that bolt? I'm not sure what size that is, but we're gonna have to take that off. And the same thing goes for this other side, unless the seatbelt that you got will actually work inside of the new one. But in our case, it's not. Our seatbelt that we got is a little bit wider and this one won't, well, it'll fit in there, but it's not activating the switch. So that means we're gonna have to replace this side as well. And holding that on, if you look right down there, let me get the camera in there. We can see the bolt on the side of it down there. That's the bolt we're going to have to take off to remove that. And I'll show you what they look like on the new ones. So here's our new one. And this is the one that actually has the safety wire running to it. You would unplug the other one from, should be right behind your seat and just plug it into here. And this is where that one bolt goes to secure that next to your seat. The other side, this is where you saw that other bolt. And that one will just go down like that. And as you can see, this is a much wider head on here than the other one. I was hoping I wouldn't have to change this one out as well. And that the other seatbelt would just work with it, but it's not. If you need the part number, it is right there. 84174257. This one in particular we got from Cherry Valley Tractor Sales on Route 70 in Marlton. And it looks like it was about 150 bucks. Now I'm pretty sure uh, if they don't have the exact seatbelt for your skid steer, I'm pretty sure you can probably make a skid another application from a different brand, like let's say John Deere. Um, or even Bobcat, as long as the wiring is the same that's going to plug in because the seatbelt is just pretty much plug and play. So I think you could probably, I think it's probably universal if you had to grab a seatbelt kit from a different model, but I'm not sure, but I would think it would be. These seats typically lift up. If we go back here, you will see, go back behind the seat. You see that, see that lever right there? We're gonna pull on that lever and that should slide all the way up that track, that seat. It should allow us to pull up on this seat. And it's kind of hard for me to get in here with the camera, so I'm gonna set this down and see if I can lift that seat up out of the way. All right. Try to pull on this handle here. Oh, yeah, it does. And you just wanna lift straight up. You 
can see now that seat is up in the air that brings our boat up here which is a little bit easier now to get to you can see and uh there's our clip there and this is where we unplug it from the back it's where the new one's gonna plug in right there but that bolt's really accessible now and down here on that one you can see we can get to that bolt now so shouldn't take it uh shouldn't take too long to get them out now it should make the job really easy all right well i just wanted to show you before i pulled it out so i put a three quarter inch on the impact here on the front and then i had to get a little stubby a little stubby three quarter to slide back in here and get it on that nut behind there and that pretty much did the job took it off of there and now this should just pull out of there like that now we're gonna take our new one and we're just gonna slide it down in there and same thing, tighten her up. All right, the new one's in. And just remember, you might need to tilt this on some type of angle here because if you put it straight up, it might be a really uncomfortable fit going over the operator. And our last one was kind of tilted forward like this. But it's in, it's tight. Now we're gonna move on to just taking uh, this bolt out here, the other part of the seatbelt and our wire back here i don't think i disconnected that yet but you can just pull on that oh, there we go and it just disconnects just like that so our safety switch is now disconnected all right let me get this nut out of here all right i cracked this one loose and before i go ahead and take that bolt off this side i would recommend getting a shorter socket um because you don't have a whole lot of room here between this bolt and the glass and if you put a long socket on there, it keeps falling off and I kept hitting the glass. So get a shorter socket. I put a longer hold back wrench back there. And when I pulled on this bolt, when I loosened, I let the wrench hit against the seat. So that gave me some leverage as if somebody was holding that. And uh, it took a little bit of force and I was almost ready to get a leverage bar on this thing, but uh, I cracked it loose and uh it's ready to come out now all right i got that out now we got the wire there's a little clip back here that is holding your safety wire on there and uh it's held on by a 9 16 bolt so you want to get that on there that actually came out pretty easy i still think there's a nut on the back yeah there is take that off all right our whole assembly is out that's what's left of our uh seat belt that holds the switch and there's our wire that had the 9 16 that little uh fastener clip that was holding it on and there's our little micro switch all right so now basically we're just going to uh put that 9 16 bolt back in we're gonna plug in our wire well, actually, we are going to take this fastener off of here and put it on here so we can refasten that as well. And that'll be it. All right, got that side all bundled up. That's good. That looks good. Lower your seat down and you are good to go. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. And as always, please, if you can take one second, just hit that subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, it really helps me grow my channel. That's why I do these videos. Um, helps me survive and get through this crazy world um, from all of you guys, my supporters. And uh, if you have any questions, again, leave it in the comments and I'll see you next time.